If you are tired of cold weather and busy city life and would like to experience warm tropical weather, white sandy beaches, scuba diving, snorkeling, deep sea adventure, or you would like to explore history, archaeology, and learn about a new culture, well, maybe none of these, but you would like to spend your vacation in a paradise-like settings, then Belize is your dream destination. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Belize. Belize is a small country in Central America. In the north, it's connected with Mexico. In the west and south is Guatemala. Honduras is just a short distance away, but has a common border through the ocean. On the east side, it's connected with Caribbean Ocean and thus the open world. Belize is a very small country with about 350,000 inhabitants. Most of its inhabitants live in the cities like Belize City, Corozal, Orange Walk, Belmopan, Punta Gorda, Dangriga, and Plasencia. Most of the people speak English, however, Spanish is widely understood. But there is another thing that people speak which is called Creole. Creole is a kind of broken English which you might be able to understand a part of if you pay attention. However, when the people talk to each other, you would not be able to understand anything. People are from the descendants of the African slaves who were brought here a few centuries ago and thus have been settled in this land. However, there are a, a lot of people from the other places like Honduras and Guatemala and Mexico and other countries who are living in peace and harmony despite their differences of race and religion. In general, Belize is a peaceful place where people understand each other being a small place Almost everybody knows everybody. But that does not mean that there are no dangerous areas. One needs to be careful when he comes here, in which area he goes, and in which areas to avoid. But at the same time, people of Belize are very friendly. Because of that, government is developing this country as a huge tourist attraction. A number of cruise ships come here every day and every year and that provides the local people employment opportunities. People make handicrafts at home, sell them in the tourist village, and other tourist attractions, which provides them means of earning. The history of Belize dates back thousands of years. Several major archaeological sites, including Kahalpesh, Karakol, Lamanai, Lubantun, Altunha, and Shunantunich reflect the advanced civilization and much denser population of that period. The Maya civilization emerged at least three millennia ago in the lowland area of the Yucatan Peninsula and the highlands to the south, in what is now southeastern Mexico, Guatemala, western Honduras, and Belize. Many aspects of the, this culture persist in the area despite nearly 500 years of European domination. Belize boasts important sites of the earliest Maya settlements, majestic ruins of the classic period, and examples of the late post-classic ceremonial construction. The first recorded European settlement was established by shipwrecked English seamen in 1638. Over the next 150 years, more English settlements were established. Belize was termed a colony of British Honduras in 1840. It became a crown colony in 1862. The official name of the territory was changed from British Honduras to Belize in June 1973, and full independence was granted on September 21, 1981. Belize is also known for its extreme biodiversity and distinctive ecosystems. On the coast, there is a swampy coastal plain with mangrove swamps. In the south and interior, there are hills and low mountains. Most of country is undeveloped and is forested with hardwood. Belize city is the largest city in Belize. 
Its population is about 70,000 inhabitants. Until 1961, Belize city used to be the capital of Belize. However, Belize city lies in direct path of hurricanes. In 1961, the city was flattened with the hurricane. Thus, it was decided to move the capital inland. And Belmopan, which is about 50 miles to the west, became the capital of Belize. Currently, the population of Belmopan is only about 14,000, but most of the people live in Belize city. Tourists who come to visit Belize do not stay in Belize city mostly. Most of them like to go to the islands like Key Cocker and San Pedro that has beautiful sandy beaches, providing them with a lot of opportunities to take part in uh, the water sports. Belize is blessed with the second largest barrier reef in the world, thus provides a lot of opportunities for you to see the wildlife in the, in the ocean and different kind of fish live here. It provides you a lot of opportunities to take part in the ocean sports if you are interested in that. Belize used to be a close country and not many people used to come here. However, government started changing the rules and regulations, opening up the country for the foreigners and a lot of tourists started coming here. That created a lot of opportunities for the people of Belize. However, these opportunities are merely not enough. Education level is not very high. A lot of people, a lot of youngsters drop out of school in very early age and they fall through the cracks and they do not know what to do. So you will see a lot of youngsters roaming around, walking in the streets, doing nothing. That's creating a sense of loneliness in them. Government is taking certain actions to correct the situation. However, the resources are not enough for these people and they do not know what to do with themselves. So they are always looking for some opportunity and that also takes them onto the wrong path. Just because of that, Belize city is clearly divided into two paths. One is the northern Belize and one is the southern Belize. In the northern Belize, you will mostly find the people who are well off and they are living on their own. But in the southern Belize, you will find a lot of people who do not have much opportunities or say no opportunities at all. And they do not even have the place to sleep or they do not even have anything to eat. When you're walking around, if you ask somebody, have you had lunch or dinner? Very calmly, sometimes they would tell you, no, I didn't have anything to eat. There are many islands in the coastal boundary of Belize. Many of them are privately owned, however, some are open to the public. Some are large enough to sustain a good-sized city, for example, Ambergris Key. In order to go to the island, you will need to get on a water taxi for a 45 minutes ride to Key Cocker or 75 minutes ride to San Pedro. San Pedro is a city of 14,000 friendly people and one of the major tourist attractions in Belize. city serves as a hub for marine activities like snorkeling, scuba diving and day-long excursions to Blue Hole. What do you guys do here? Well, we provide uh, snorkeling excursions, and uh, which is a barrier reef snorkel, and an island getaway. Um, I'm I'm one of the part owners of the the island, which uh, is called Starfish Island, and we deal directly with the cruise lines. Um, we have contracts with all the major cruise lines in Belize City, and we pick the guests up from the cruise ship 
and take them to the barrier reef to snorkel. They snorkel for an hour and then we take them to the island where they have um, food, drinks, um, beach chairs to relax, music. I see those um, suits, are those the scuba diving suits? No, those are all snorkeling vests. They're called BCs, buoyancy compensators. Uh, they're all required to use one and inflate it, you know, with just your, your breath. Um, just so that when you're in the water, you have flotation. And in case of uh, emergency or you need help, you know, there's something to keep you afloat. Um, before, you know, one of our guides or so could get to you to help. So I don't know swimming and I, you know, so what kind of fitness level do I need? Well, Can I go in the water with to, this? To, to snorkel it, it requires a little bit of uh, a physical strength and um, endurance. It's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, of course, if you do it a few times, you become a professional and then it becomes easy. Then we um, work with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically what it is, is once you get in the water, is to make yourself comfortable, make yourself relax and realize, hey, this is easy for me to do. I need, just need to get your breathing right. We're all accustomed to breathing through our nose, but when you put the mask and the snorkel in your mouth, then you have to breathe through your, your mouth. Because if you try to breathe through your nose, then the same carbon monoxide that you're extracting will just get the mask all fogged up. So you need to get used to snorkeling and breathing through your mouth. So, so what kind of fish and, uh, and marine life do you see? Basically out there, there's um, like lobsters, eels, lots of colorful fish, most of the fish that we have in Belize, occasional turtle, lots of stingrays. Any um, sharks? Occasionally you'll see a, a nurse shark, which is harmless. We've never seen any really um, dangerous shark, but lots of colorful fish, lots of beautiful corals. And um, I mean, we're proud to say that we have the second largest barrier reef and it's very colorful, it's still in prestige um, shape. So we try to keep it that way. So. And before we snorkel, we always give a briefing to our guests to, you know, to ensure that they are aware and they're educated enough to know that we're not gonna destroy the corals and make sure we, we keep it the same way we, we found it. Is it expensive? So. Well, it, it all goes through the cruise lines. I wouldn't say it's, it's cheap, but it's not expensive either if you want an experience and an adventure, you know. To take full benefit of what Belize has to offer around its barrier reef, one could go for scuba diving, windsurfing, snorkeling, and many other marine activities. However, snorkeling is something that an average person can do easily, even without any knowledge of swimming. Tour boards take you to the barrier reef where you will be able to swim with the sharks, stingrays, turtles and many other types of fish in their natural habitat. This is shark reality, alright? So this is where we're going to eight feet. Eight, eight feet. That's okay, we can stand. We can still uh, hang on with the... Beside these islands, other tourist attractions are cave tubing, inland blue hole, Belize Zoo, and jungle tracks. There are several resorts set up all across Belize that provide comfortable living in the exotic settings to provide you the ultimate jungle experience. You enjoy a good night's sleep in a mosquito-free environment, and singing birds wake you up in the morning. Some species of Belize's flora and fauna include the black orchid, the mahogany tree, the toucans, and tapers. 
Besides the magical islands and botanical garden resorts, Belize is blessed with the Maya mountains that peak at almost 5,000 feet. A drive through these mountains on the southern highway takes you to the cities of Hopkins, Dungriga, Plasencia, and Punta Gorda. Hopkins is a small coastal town with friendly people and beautiful beaches. Placencia is situated at the end of a long half-mile wide strip that connects it with the mainland Belize. Placencia is becoming a new tourist destination with all the amenities of western world, white sandy beaches and nice restaurants. Placencia is full of beautiful bungalows and gated communities that are mostly owned by expatriates from North America and Europe. A blending of cultures has resulted in one of the happiest and most peaceful countries in the region. Belize is blessed with a lot of marine resources. With the second largest barrier reef in the world, a lot of fish and shrimps are harvested along the Belizean coast. These are processed and exported to other countries as well. But the biggest income and employment that comes with the ocean is the arrival of the cruise ships. Almost every day, a cruise ship docks along the coast of Belize, and all those tourists flock to the city of Belize, where the taxi drivers are able to make their income by taking these tourists to visit the Mayan ruins and other inland activities. A lot of people who make the handicrafts are able to sell their handicrafts in the tourist village, and a lot of other employment opportunities are connected with this kind of tourism. Other than the tourism and marine resources, agriculture is another major aspect in the Belizean economy. Belize produces rice, corn, sugarcane, and a lot of other fruits that are sold fresh here and also exported. In the western part of Belize, oil is also extracted. However, it's merely not enough for the Belize, and a lot of oil is also imported from the other countries. One of the nicest things about Belize is the weather. With an average yearly temperature of 84 Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius, it's always warm yet comfortable. Coastal sea breezes as well as the jungle and the rainforests keep you cool even in the hottest summer months, while winters can be cool but never very cold. Belize's dry season is between February and May and has significantly lower rainfall than the rest of the year. When it does rain, it is usually in mild, short bursts. June to December is wet season, when parts of the country receive up to 150 inches of rain. Belize also has a hurricane season, and while statistically Belize does not attract any major direct hits, it does get its share of severe tropical weather with high winds and rain. In Belize, traditions and customs are varied and represent more than eight diverse cultures. For generations, the people of Belize have demonstrated a cultural commitment to preserve the country's unique charms. Whether you are an adventure traveler, part of a family trip, or in the country for a relaxing beach vacation, every day will be a new experience for you and Belizean people and culture will make you feel welcomed and comfortable. We hope you enjoyed this short documentary, and Belize will be part of your next vacation plans. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.